But before that, just to, because our audience is changing and growing all the time, uh, we like to just to kind of redress what we're doing. We do this ministry here. We preach in churches all over America. But my heart is in a wee country called Moldova. It is the poorest country in all of Europe. Um, when young girls and boys turn 16, they're put on the street and they are given uh, a couple of bucks and, the, and they are at huge risk of trafficking. And if the traffickers gets one of these kids, that young person, that young girl can make $300,000 a year for the trafficker. And we have a marvelous place called Vatra Village. It's a marvelous place. Vatra in, in Romanian means uh, heart, like a fireplace. I didn't, I didn't choose the name. That was what it was. And these homes in this incredible village has become the hearth to so many young folk. And I want you to watch this video about Vatra Village. And you'll be blessed as you watch it. Watch this. Catalina. Juliana. Anna. Tudor. Catalina. Moldova, the poorest country in Europe, a place torn between the East and the West, stuck between yesterday and tomorrow. This tiny impoverished country has the highest level of alcohol consumption in the world and the highest death rate linked to drinking. Poverty and alcohol is a deadly mix. It breaks the home. It causes unimaginable suffering. It creates orphans. In this corruption-dominated society, orphanages become recruitment factories where girls and boys in the most vulnerable positions are handed over to traffickers as they age out of the system. Lack of opportunity, social support, and severe poverty make these kids desperate to leave their country, hopeful that they will find a more prosperous life elsewhere. But this combination of desperation and hope leaves many of them susceptible to the false promises of recruiters. Moldova is primarily a source country for men, women and children forced into sex trafficking and forced labor. My father wanted to kill me. I grew up in an orphanage because my mother was sent to prison for killing my father. I had the knife from my father and pulled my beaten mother out of the house so he wouldn't kill her. I asked God why all of this is happening to my family and I thought that he forgot about us. I was supposed to be aborted. sister used to pick our clothes from the trash. Yet, in the midst of this sorrow, 
a miracle is taking place. Orphans are finding hope through the work of the orphans' hands. And because of your generosity, today, Vatra Village is a place of warmth and comfort. Something most of these kids have never known. In these rooms, care and love, hope and healing transforms pain into purpose and loss into life. They are finding their broken hearts healed by God's love and hope is then turning into action. These amazing kids, once rescued and restored, have an unstoppable desire to return to those whose fears they understand, to reach the ones who are what they once were.